Hello, Kayla. Good evening. Hello, Gustavo. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I think most of your classmates are going to connect in a moment. So we're going to start our day. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, hello, Mr. Elmer, Gustavo, Hazel, and Kayla. Welcome to another day, another class. For me, it's a great pleasure to have you here, right? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Good, bad, so-so? Good. It was good. Very good. Very good. What about Elmer? How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend is very good. Your weekend was good. Okay. Was good, yeah. Was Excellent. Good. What about you, Miss Kayla? How was your weekend? We lost Kayla, or the microphone is off. We don't really know. And Hazel, how was your weekend? What did you do? Um, my weekend very good. <laughs> it was very good. What did you do? Did you go out? Did you rest? Did you go to the beach? No, working. <laughs> ah, working, yeah, that makes two of us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I spent all my weekend working Saturday and Sunday. It's very busy. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, but it's very nice. Well, today we are going to talk about schedules, right? We're going to talk about schedules. And do you know what a schedule is? ¿Saben qué significa schedule? Horarios. Yes. The schedules are horarios, right? Horarios. The different things and the different activities that you do in your everyday, right? Schedules, schedules. Those are, it's yeah. a very, it's, it's a very complicated word, right? Schedule. 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 I am going to send you the pronunciation in a moment, right? Schedule. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky, the pronunciation. Okay. Like ketchup. Yeah, like ketchup, schedule. <laughs> yes, it's very similar. Well, let's keep, let's keep in mind our agreements, right? Remember to practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time so I can see your beautiful faces. Uh, attend all your sessions on time participate in class and for sure keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends on the whatsapp group if any of you need help on the whatsapp group please collaborate right collaborate and help there i am going to send a message to your friend and we can start working right in the previous class, thank you, Mr. Elmer, for your camera. Now we can see you. Very good. And I'm missing the K. I have Marvin, welcome. Very good job that most of you are connecting. Excellent. Mr. Ivan, Rodrigo, Jairo, Kayla. Hello. Excellent. Well, so in the previous class, we were talking about the use of third person singular, right? Do you remember? We were talking about family members. We were talking about the transformation of the verbs. How do you transform verbs at the moment of creating sentences with he, she, and it, right? Do you remember the rules for the transformation of the verbs? ¿Quién recuerda las reglas de transformación de los verbos? Do you remember any of them? Uh-huh. Rules for the verbs, do you remember? Cri, cri, cri. 
Agree. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh huh. I am going to wait here. Do you remember the rules? Están pasando por la clase o la clase pasó por usted. De noche. De no eh, well. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's 9 p.m. for sure. Okay. <laughs> In most of the cases, we add S to the verbs, right? Le agregamos S a los verbos. ¿Qué otra transformación existe? Cuando era este, en los verbos, perdón, cuando era con he, she y it. Ajá. Recuerdo. Ajá. Ya. Yeah. We transform them. Ajá. Any other rule that we remember? And the verbs ending in, in why? Ajá. And se le agregaba IES. It's on your WhatsApp, remember. You have them there. Ahí las tienen en el grupo, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí están. No. Ah. ah come on. The, the, the link is on your email. Remember that we, when we have a Y, you use IES, right? Study, okay. study. Mm -hmm. Cry, cries, right? There you have the different form of the rules. People, it's there in your WhatsApp group. I am going to resend it to you. There you go, for all the ones that are new. Okay, so the verbs, that's what we were studying, right? We are going to work a little bit on transforming sentences, right? So I have here some examples of sentences in first person. I clean my bedroom every night. Imagine that you are not talking about me, that you are talking about, a, I don't know, Teresa or Juanita, but you say she. How do you continue the sentence? She cleans. cleans. She cleans. Her bedroom every Her night. Bedroom every night, right? She cleans her bedroom every night. But imagine that Teresa is not very organized. So it's a negative sentence. She, she doesn't. She doesn't. Doesn't clean her bedroom. She doesn't night. clean. Okay, si ocupamos el auxiliary doesn't, doesn't, doesn't ya no cambiamos el verbo. El verbo va normal. Yes, she doesn't clean her <clears throat> bedroom every night. And if you want to make a question about Teresa to see if she's very organized, how do you make the question? Does she? Does she? Why she? Does, does, she, does she? Clean? Does clean? she clean? Her bedroom? Her bedroom? Every night? Does she clean her bedroom every night? And the question is, yes, she does, or no, yes, does. she does, no, she or no, she doesn't, she doesn't, right? No, she doesn't, right? And that is the form. Here you have affirmative, negative, and interrogative with third person singular. What about the next one? I organize my house. Make it affirmative with he. Make it affirmative. Hagamos la afirmativa pero con he. He organizes. He organizes his house. He organizes. He organizes. He organizes his house. His house. And it's like, mm -mm. Ah, mm, ah, ah. 
he doesn't ah. organize. He doesn't his, organize his house. He doesn't organize his house. What about the question? Does he? Does he? Does he organize, does he organize his house? His house? Does he organize Her. his house? Her. No, it's his because we are talking about his. he. Okay. Aquí okay. venimos hablando de he. Okay. So, in the chat, in the chat, create the three questions, the three questions, the three forms, sorry, the three forms for the next sentence. I study my class. Vamos a hacerlo usando a Juan. Go ahead. Send it on the chat. En el chat. Las tres formas, afirmative, negative, and interrogative, with Juan. Let's go, let's do it. Si no lo podemos hacer en el chat de Zoom, en el chat de WhatsApp, it's okay. The three forms, afirmative, negative, and interrogative. You are going to transform this sentence into Juan. Oh, very good. I have one answer. Very good, very good. Two answers. Very good. Is this? Continue, continue. Very good job. Very good job, Mr. Gustavo. Excellent sentences. Very nice. Very good. Very good, Ivan. Very good question. <laughs> okay, he studies in my class, but that's okay, Angelica. Juan studies your class. Juan studies his class. Very good. Juan studies, studies doesn't have an E. Mr. Elmer, ouch, the E, studies. So you say studies, very good. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So, here, I am going to take the other ones. I am going to take the other sentences here. And I am going to go here, okay. Okay. So for these sentences that I have here, we are going to have number one, number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And I am going to give each of you a number, okay? A todos le va a tocar un número. And we have here. Okay, pay attention to your number, okay? Anoten su número porque después se me olvida. Gustavo, number one. Elmer, number two. Jairo, number three. Gerardo, number four. Angelica, number five. Marvin, number one. Ivan, number two. Salvador, number three. Hazel, number four. Rodrigo, number five. Keila. Number one, Mauricio, number two, Luis Alvarenga, number three, Carlos Rodriguez, number four, and Mario, number five. Transform your sentence. La que le tocó, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. On your notebook, please. Porque después la van a leer. Go ahead, on your notebook, on your notebook. The three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. He, she, it, Juanito, Maria. Transform it into third person. La vamos a transformar a tercera persona. When you have it ready, raise your hand. Cuando la tengan lista, levanta la mano.
Done? Okay, Gustavo, you finish. Can you read your sentence, please? Okay. I do homework at night. I don't do homework at night. Do I homework at night? Do I do? Do I do? Homework? Do I do? Okay, do I do? But it has to be in third person. In third person. He, she, it, Juanito, Maria, mi mamá, my mother, my father. Third person. Hacemos la tercera persona. Okay. Okay. The... She, she does homework at night. Very good. And she doesn't do homework at night. Very good. Does she, sorry, does she do homework at night? Very good job. Fantastic job, Mr. Gustavo. Excellent. Who has the sentence already? Feliz noche, mi amor. I don't was there saying good night to his kid. I don't know, I said Feliz noche. That's very nice. Yes, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It was a very beautiful moment. Let's see, who's next? Elmer, do you have your sentence? Okay. Um... I wash my clothes. Uh -huh. uh, he wash his clothes. He washes. Washes his clothes. Um, he doesn't wash his clothes. Does, uh, does he wash his clothes? Very good. Does he wash his clothes? Very good job. Jairo, your mm -hmm. sentences. He reads every morning. He doesn't read every morning. Does he read every morning? Very good job. Gerardo, your sentences. Mr. Gerardo? Okay, Angelica, go ahead. <clears throat> he watches TV. Does he watch? He doesn't watch TV. He doesn't watch TV and does he watch TV? Very good. <coughs> Marvin, go ahead. Uh, he doesn't do homework at night. Very good. Does he do homework at night? Very good. Uh, he doesn't do homework at night. Okay, very good. Oh, the only thing that homework, it's not plural. It cannot be plural. Homework. Ah, okay. Only homework. homework. Very okay. good. Yes. Okay. Mr. Ivan Rivera, go ahead. I wash my clothes. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> he don't wash his clothes. He doesn't. He doesn't. Sí. Yes. Uh, I does not wash my clothes. I do not. I do not. I do not. With he, you say he doesn't. With he doesn't. I, you say I don't. Okay. Does he wash his clothes? Very good job. Does he wash his clothes? Excellent. Thank you, Ivan. Let's okay. make the other corrections. Mr. Salvador, go ahead. Mr. Salvador. Salvador a la una, Salvador a la dos. Okay, Hazen. Um, <laughs> um, she eats, eats lunch and home. Okay, she, she eats, eats. Eats, eats, eats. <laughs> la es de eats. Yeah, the, the she eats. She eats lunch and home. Very good. She doesn't eat lunch and home. Very good. That she eats lunch at home. Very yes, good job. She does. Very no, nice. She doesn't. Hey, very good job, Hazel. Very good job. Thank Carla you. Rodriguez, go ahead. Carlita Rodriguez, Carlita Rodriguez, a la una. Carlita Rodriguez, a la dos. Carlita Rodriguez, thank you very much. Mario Saldivar, go ahead. She watching TV? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She doesn't watch TV. Very good. 
Does she watch in TV? Does she watch? Does she that, watch? Does she watch? Very good job. Well, am I missing anybody? Que me falta? No se esconde, no se esconde. It's okay, it's okay. Good. Well, but it was a very good practice in the end with everybody. I received a couple of messages there. Yeah. Okay, Luis. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the class. We are practicing the third person singular with some sentences. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. So to continue practicing here, we have this little exercise. On this exercise, what we are going to do is to decide what we need to use one type of verb or the other one depending on the subject that we have in the sentence for example here we have this specific type of subject here and it says i with i you use a normal form of the verb so you cannot say i lives because that's incorrect right i live right but what about he do you use he have or he has? He has. He has. He has, right? He has. He, he has. has. He has. What about uh, you? You walk. You, say, you, you walk, walk or you walks? You walk. You walk. You walk, you walk right? Walk. You walk. Actually, I. Don't. I don't or I, I don't. doesn't. I don't. I don't, don't. I don't, I don't. Right? I don't. You cannot say I doesn't. No. I take or I takes. Take. I take. I take. I take. I walk or I walks. Walk. I walk. I walk. walk. I walk. What about you? And it says, well, my I husband and I. I. We. <laughs> My husband and I, it's we. How? We How? have. Has. He, How? we have. Because How? has is only for he, she, and it. Mm -hmm. Si estamos hablando de my husband and I, two people, plural. Okay. Uh, so I drive, drive or drives? Drive. Drive. I drive. I drive. I drive. I drive. Oh, I drive to work. My husband. Doesn't, doesn't work. work. My work. husband work. doesn't work. Works. Why not work. works? ¿Por qué no ocupamos works? El auxiliary verb. But, because but we have an key. auxiliary verb. Because we That's. have doesn't. Mm -hmm. Si ya pusimos doesn't, ya no ocupamos la S en el verb. The next sentence. Yes, okay. it's normal. Yes. And he. He works. He works. works. In Sorry. this case, works. yes, right? He works in the suburbs near our house. So he, uh, he goes, 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 he goes to goes. work, to work, to work bus. by bus, right? He goes to work Home. by bus. Let's study here and let's go. I am going to be Sue and you are going to be David, okay? So do you live downtown, David? Continue. Here. Yes. Yes, I, I live with my brother. Yes, I live with my brother. Good night. Teacher, eran todos o solo uno en específico que iba a repetir? No, you are David and I am Sue. Ah. So, do you live downtown, David? All of you as students? Yes, I live yes, with my I brother. I live with my brother. I live with my brother. He has an apartment near here. He has an apartment yes, near he here. He has an apartment near here. Oh, so you walk to work. Actually, I don't work to work. I take the bus to work. And I work my home at night. Work home at night. Yes. 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 My husband doesn't work downtown. He works in the suburbs near our house. So he goes to work by bus. Now I am going to be David and you are Sue. Go ahead. 
Did you live? Oh, did you live? Did you live? Did you live? Did you live? Did Yes, I live with my brother. He has an apartment near here. Oh, so you uh, walk, oh, walk, you walk, walk to, work? to work? Actually, I don't walk to work in the morning. I take the bus to work and then I walk home at night. What about you? He goes to work by bus. Very good job. Excellent, my dear students. You are not afraid of reading. That's something that I really like. Eso me gusta mucho este grupo. No tienen miedo a practicar. That's very good. It's like, no, no, no. I feel afraid. Nothing. I really like this group. Very nice. So, here I have some yes, no questions. And in this one, I am going to ask different people a question. And you are going to tell me yes or no. Mr. Marvin, do you live in the city? Yes. Yes, I do. Say. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Very I do. good. Marvin, ask question number two to another person. Mm. Elmer. Uh, in question? The question. Um, do, you, do you have a car? Very good. Yes, I have a car. Excellent. Elmer, another person. Um, I don't see, let me see. Gustavo, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Very good. Continue. Okay. Marvin, do you live with your parents? Uh, yes, I live with one, but with, with my parents. With my parents. 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 Okay. Parents. Marvin, another person. Uh, uh, Angelica. Angelica. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I just felt it. La vi con cara de participar. Do you do my homework at school? Do you do your homework? Your homework. Your homework at school? No, I don't. I don't go to school. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, Angelica, ask the next question to another person. If you cannot find it, uh, I will help you. Uh, Jairo. Jairo. Uh -huh. okay. Do you do do you do your homework alone? Yes, I do. Very good, Jairo. Ask the question to another person. Mario, do you ride your bike to school? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good, Mario. Another person. <coughs> Please. <coughs> Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to Luis. <laughs> to Luis. Luis. Okay. Okay. Luis, do you have a sister? Yes, I do. I am two no. sisters. Oh, I have, have two sisters. You have two sisters. Next okay. question, Luis. To uh, Ivan Rivera. <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you have brothers or a brother? Do you have brothers or do you have a brother? Good question. Yes, I do. Very good. Mr. Ivan, ask another question to, let me see. Who, teacher? To Carlita Rodriguez. <laughs> Carlita, uh, do you work downtown? Carlita Rodriguez. Carlita Rodriguez? No. Hazel, do you work downtown? 
Um, no. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, Hazel, ask the question to the teacher. <gasps> Any question? Um, momentito, momentito. Moment, please. <laughs> one, one moment, please. Okay, please, please. Um, loading, please. loading. Uh -huh. Do you have a car? No, I don't. My husband has a car. <laughs> Okay. So I, I, I have a newer only. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't pay him. I pay him per, with food. Personal Uber. Yeah, personal Uber. Le pago con comida. <laughs> okay, I just feed him. Very good, very good practice. And you see, you were creating the questions even when I didn't ask you to create the structure. Aun cuando no tenían la estructura ahí, crearon la oración. And it was not really difficult for you. It's like, do you, do okay. I, does she, right? It was a very good practice for this. And it was very, very, very good. Prepositions of time, right? They are going to help us to create more information about things that you want to express on your everyday. Expressions of time or prepositions of time are very specific phrases that give us the idea of a, a specific time when something happens. For example, early, late, late. every day, every day. At and nine. then you have at nine, at noon, at night, at night. in the morning, Tomorrow. in the afternoon, in the evening, in the evening. on Sundays. Sunday. On weekends, okay. on weekdays. What is something that you can see different from these three to the other time expressions? What is something that you see the, different? The first three expression is very, it's no, it's no. Technique. Uh, exactly. Okay, they are not exact. But what is something curious that you can see in these three sentences that you can see in these ones? Something different that you can see on these ones, but you cannot see on these ones. They don't have, they don't do more information. Yes, but specifically, hay algo que no ocupan. These three don't use something specific. Preposition. They don't use the prepositions at, in, or on. So you cannot say in early, at early, or on early. You mm -hmm. cannot say that. You cannot say, I am in late. I am on late. I am okay. at late. No, right? You can say, I am very early. I am very late. Right, okay. but you cannot say at, in, or on with early, late, or every day. You okay. cannot say at every day, or in every day, or on every day. So, this is something for you to keep in mind. At, you use it with specific times, right? At noon, at midnight, at nine, at 10, at eight, right? In with a specific moments of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but you cannot say in night. Con night ocupamos at, 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 at night. night. You don't say in night, on night, no. Mm -hmm. You say at night. night. And in this one, you say on Sundays, on weekends, okay. on, on weekdays. Weekend. Okay, this is the form that you use at, in, and on. And to be a little bit more specific, I am going to show you a little chart that I have here. Here, uh, you can use it with precise time. And in this case, you say at three o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset. Here is the form that you can use with at. 
¿Saben el significado de sunrise y sunset? ¿No? Amanecer, ¿no? Sunrise yes. is yes. yes. atardecer. Sunrise is in the morning and sunset is in the afternoon. Very good. At the moment, at night. So you use at. In. You use in with a specific months, years, decades, centuries, or seasons. He say in May, in summer, in the summer, right? In 1990, when you talk about time, you can divide the time in two parts, right? You can say in 1990, in 1990, but to read it, you say 1990, 1970, 1984, right? On the contrary, when you say 2000, like in 2008, como el del 2000 para arriba, you say 2001, 2002, 3, 4, 5, 2020, right? You use it like this. In the next century, right? In the past or in the future. And on, you use it with a specific days and dates, right? On Sunday, on Tuesday, on March 6th, on December 25th, on Christmas, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve, okay? This is the specific form of using. Don't confuse them. Don't use them in different forms, okay? Don't mix it. Don't say, for example, at May or on May. You say in May, okay? You have to be very careful with this. And to use this one, I have here a little conversation. Can you identify the use of the prepositions of time in the conversation? Can you identify prepositions of time in the conversation? Yes, on Sunday. On Sunday, good. Afternoon. <clears throat> on weekends. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. On Sunday. On weekends. On weekends. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. At, at ten o'clock. At ten o'clock. Early. Early. At noon. Ten o'clock. Every day. Every day. At this restaurant. One o'clock. At one o'clock, right? At one o'clock. At this restaurant. And all day. All day. All day, all day right? All day, right? And you see, in each of the sentences, you have a preposition of time or a time expression, right? Or you have a preposition with at, in, or on. So here we have, let's go to the park on Sunday. You have a specific day. No van a ir cualquier día, van a ir on Sunday, right? But let's go in the afternoon, not in the morning, not at night, in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. What time do you get up on Sunday, people? What time do you get up on Sunday? With the park. At 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. At 10. At Wake up. What is that? <laughs> Yo no me At 7. At 7, 7 a.m. On Sundays, I wake up at 5 in the morning. Oh my God. Yeah. And on Saturdays, oh. too. Yeah. It's very terrible. Because I have to open the academy at 6. So it's like, come on. So you have to get up early. Who gets up at Noon on Sundays. ¿Quién se levanta a mediodía? Me. <laughs> I don't. You get up at noon. It's like, oh, come on. Where is breakfast? 
what is brunch you know brunch 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 yes. is yes. breakfast yes. and lunch yes brunch yes. is breakfast and lunch right it's only one food it's economic definitely oh that's early on sundays i get up at noon it says do you eat breakfast then sure i have breakfast every day then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock they serve breakfast all day like in denny's right that you go to denny's and yeah. they serve breakfast all the day in pizza hut like at until 11 in the morning so but you can have breakfast at 11 in the morning so uh, students let's go to the park on sunday okay Aha, very good. <laughs> wake up wake up students let's go to the park on sunday okay okay but okay, let's go what time do you get up on sundays at, at, at at nine 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 Oh, that's early. <laughs> oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you, do you eat, eat, do you eat, eat breakfast? breakfast sure, I have breakfast every day. Let's meet me at the restaurant. They serve breakfast, breakfast all day. Very good job. Elmer, you are going to be Amy, Amy and I am Jack. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant. At one o'clock, they serve breakfast all day. Very good job. Elmer, give me another name. ¿Quién es la siguiente víctima? Um, ah. Angélica. Angélica. <laughs> Angélica. And let's see. Give me another name, Elmer. Um, Gustavo. Angélica and Gustavo. Go ahead. One, two, and three. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that is early on Sunday. I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good job. Very good job. Gustavo, choose another person. And Angelica, choose another person. Uh, Jairo. And Hazel. Jairo and Hazel. Go ahead. Hazel, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday. I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve, they serve breakfast all day. Excellent job, very good job. Jairo, choose another person and Hazel, choose another person. Mario. Mario and Hazel, give me another name. Um, um, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, Carla. Mario and Carla. Carla, are you there? Carlita? Carlita se nos ha perdido. Okay, Marvin is going to be Mario and Marvin. 
Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get out on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant on at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent job! Excellent job! Now the final couple we're going to have is Ivan and Luis. Go ahead. Hey, Ivan, let's go to the park on Sunday. Hola. Ivan. Hello. No. Iván, no, Teacher, es que he hecho algo por acá que no, no veo la, la pantalla donde está la conversación. Uy, uy, uy. Let's see. I am going to share it again. Let's see. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to share it back. So maybe it works. Ta-da. Does it work? Iván? Okay. Yes, I, yes, I see. Yeah, very good. Continue. Okay. Uh, Ivan, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's real early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good. Okay. Oh, my dear students. You did a fantastic job on the conversations. That was very, very, very nice. So what we were studying here were the different types of questions with simple present questions with do and does and WH questions, right? With do and does, the difference is that you get only yes, no answers, right? When you have a question with do or does, you don't get more information, just yes or no, right? Do you get up early? Does he have lunch at noon? Do they drive to work? Yes or no? But if I ask you, what time do you get up? I need extra information right? Not just yes or no. If I ask you, for example, Marvin, what time do you get up every day? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Hey, what a nice day. <gasps> Qué envidia. <laughs> Qué envidia. Angelica, what time do you get up every day? At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m., right? Elmer, what time do you get up every day? At 6 o'clock. At six o'clock, Luis? At six o'clock. At six o'clock, Gustavo? Six a.m. At six a.m., Ivan? The microphone, sweetie. El secreto de la juventud. At, at five o'clock. At five o'clock, at five o'clock. Jairo? At 6.30 o'clock. At 6.30. Gerardo? 7 a.m. At 7. Ah, oh, very nice. Salvador? At 6 o'clock, teacher. Okay. Angelica? Oh, Angelica at 5, right? At 6 o'clock. Yeah. Good. Mario? What time do you get up? At 5 o'clock. Hazel? What time do you get up, Hazel? at six o'clock at six o'clock okay yes. so you see this is a specific information i need a specific information if i say for example what time do you have lunch maybe at 12 maybe at one maybe at two when do they drive to work cuando que dias every day right when do they drive to work every day so the difference if you have a question with do and does yes or no answer if you have a question with wh more information okay any question about this questions no 
Do you get the difference? Comprendemos yeah. la diferencia? Yeah. Okay, yes. good. So let's exercise. Let's see if you get the, the idea. Here. As you can see here, because we don't have any type of WH question, we just have the auxiliary. Do you get up early on weekends? What time? And in this case, we need the complement of the question. What time? Do. Do, right? What time do you go do. home? What about this one? Your mother work. Where? Mm. Do you have any WH at the beginning? No. So you say, yes. does your mother work? It can be possible to say, where does, where does your mother work? And it's possible. You can create the question. But in this case, we didn't have the WH at the beginning. Aquí, como si la tenemos, ya sabemos que no la necesitamos. How your father get to work? How does. How does, right? How does your father get to work? Your parents read in the evening? Do you? Do. This, in this case, like, do your parents read in the evening? Because your parents, mama y papa, right? The two of them. When your parents shop, do. When, when do your parents shop? Can you create a question with does? Does he work every does day? Does he work every day? Does he work every day? Very good. What time? He invent a question. What time? What time is it? right now what time is it right now <laughs> right what time is it but okay what time do you go to work right what time do you eat lunch a question with do do you speak english for speak sure english? i do and i speak a little bit of french <laughs> do you speak english very good and when when do you got on um, sunday when do you go? When do you go where? To bed. When do you go to bed? That's it's a good question. When do you go to bed on Saturdays? When do you go to bed on Saturdays? ¿A qué hora se acuestan los sábados? When do you go to bed on Saturdays? Mm. I go to the bed and 11 p.m. <laughs> 11 p.m. Right, because you are watching TV there. Right, Netflix. when we're watching Netflix, huh? You're watching series there, right? Any Turca novel there. So, so watching Betty La Fera, right? <laughs> because that's why it's always in the top one, right? Because people watch it. When do you go to bed on Sundays? So remember, if you have a WH question. You need the WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, and the complement, okay? Primero va la WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, and the complement. That's the form. And for the other ones, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement, right? That's the form of the sentences. Let's continue practicing then because I can see that you have mastered the topic, right? In this one, I give you the words. I need you to organize them. You every day exercise do. Yes, I exercise every day. What is the second question? What time do, do, you, do you eat lunch? lunch? Do you what is the complete question? What time? What time do you lunch? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat? 
lunch. 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 Remember, WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. The next one. What is the next question? Uh, what time? Does, what time do, do you start? Tenemos what in, la, in las opciones. No. No. Does. Does. Does what? Does. Si aquí solo tenemos el auxiliar, ¿cuál es el sujeto del que estamos hablando? Does. Start, start. Start es el verbo. Does, does this, this class. class. This class, right? You are talking about the class. Does this class, what is the verb? Start at 8 o'clock. Okay, does this class start at 8 o'clock? Okay, very good. So you need to organize your idea first, right? Remember the different structures. What about the next one? Do you have a WH word? When do, yes. you, when, when do you study English? When, when do, you do you study, study English. English? English, right? When do you study English? You need to be very careful at the moment of organizing the sentences, okay? So in this case, what time do you eat lunch? And the answer? What time do you eat lunch? At, at, one, at PM. 1 p.m. Does this at class start at 8 o'clock? No, no. this class starts oh, at 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock. Yeah. When do you study English? In the evening, right? I study English in the evening. Excellent. Now, that you have studied the structures of the sentences and everything. I have here information, right? I have here different activities, right? I have different verbs here. I have drive a car, eat breakfast, exercise, get up early, go to the movies, go to work, have dinner late, play tennis, read the newspaper, sleep late, take a walk, and watch television. I have different activities there. I need you to choose one day and two activities. One is affirmative and one is negative, okay? So what you are going to do on this one, what you are going to do on this exercise is to choose one day and two activities. And you are going to tell me, on Wednesdays, I go to the movies, but I don't play tennis, right? Or you can say Friday. On Friday, I go to work. I don't watch TV, for example, okay? Or you can say, on Tuesday, I have dinner late, but I don't sleep late, okay? You have to choose two sentences in one day and you can create the sentence. I am going to choose Tuesday. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, comma, I go to work. I go to work and, but, uh, I do not exercise. I do not, okay, I do not drive a car. It's just one example. You can create the sentences like this, right? I go to work, but I don't drive a car. Or you can say, I get up early. I get up early, period, and you say, I have dinner late on Wednesday. And there you have the two sentences, okay? You can decide on how to do it. 
I need you to choose one day and two sentences. And give me your examples. Escojan un día y dos oraciones, afirmative and negative. El que la tenga lista se puede ir a dormir. El que no la diga, no se va. Mi teacher. Go ahead. <laughs> Elmer, go ahead. Okay. Um, on Friday, I get up at 5 a.m. AM. And on Friday, I don't do exercise. Very good. Go to sleep. Thank you very much. Thank you Gustavo. so much. <laughs> go ahead. Hey. On Friday, I drive a car mm -hmm. in, yes. in the order, in negative. In negative, uh huh? Okay. On Saturday, I don't, I don't get up early. Very good job. You can go to sleep. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye. Bye>. Next. <laughs> si no <laughs> okay, go ahead, Jairo. On Sunday, I watch TV. And I don't go to work. Very good job. You can go to sleep. Bye bye bye. Yes, Next. I want... <laughs> Me. Go, Angelica. On Saturday, I have dinner late, but I don't read the newspaper. Very good job. You can go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Next. On Friday, watch television. Uh huh. I watch television. But I don't exercise. Very good job. Thank you, Ivan. Bye bye. Next, Marvin. On Saturday, play tennis, but I don't read the newspaper. Where I do not read the newspaper. Thank you. Bye bye, Marvin. Next, Luis, go ahead. The microphone. The microphone. On Sunday. On Sunday, I eat breakfast early. I eat breakfast but, early. But I don't exercise. Very good. Bye-bye, Luis. Thank you. Yeah. Continue. Who's next? Saturday. OK, on Mario. Saturday, on Saturday, you play soccer in watch TV. Very good. Bye-bye, Mario. Thank you. you. Who's next? <laughs> Gerardo, go ahead. Uh, and Thursday, uh, exercise. I exercise in the night. Uh, I sleep late. Very good job. Thank you. Bye bye, Gerardo. Thank you. Ya puedes conectarse. Iván okay. también y Luis también. Elmer, go ahead. Mr. Elmer, Salvador or Hazel? Uh -huh. Hazel? Ay, microphone. <laughs> <laughs> don't excuse me. No Saturday, worry. I watch television. Good. I don't work. <laughs> Very good job. Salvador, please. Is at Sunday. On I Sunday. Watch, on Sunday. On Sunday, I watch television and, and sleep. Okay, very no. good. And I don't sleep. And I don't. Uh, sleep. And I don't sleep because okay. you have an affirmative and a negative. Thank you very okay. much, my dear students. I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Bye bye, everybody. See you tomorrow, bye. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, -bye. tomorrow. bye. Thank you for the sentences. Bye. Have a beautiful <laughs> night. Thank you. Bye -bye.